Welcome. Today's room tour finds me in Nashville, Tennessee. Actually, just outside Nashville, Smyrna. They call this the Nashville Smyrna Hampton Inn. I'm in room 301. Let's go inside and take a look. Now they have these seals to show that your room has been cleaned. Mine is already broken because I've already been into the room. And this room is a complimentary upgrade. So you can see we have a little, maybe you'd call this a kitchen area. It has a microwave, a refrigerator, a sink. Here's our coffee maker. And it looks like we have a couple of coffees in here. And our ice bucket. Just opposite that, you see a large wall mirror. And down here on the other side of my coat and my luggage, you see a couple of footrests. And beyond that, a sofa. And I'm going to guess this is a sleeper, but let's take a look. Well, maybe not. It doesn't look like... Oh, sure enough. Yes, it is a sleeper. And a little side table. As we pan the room, you can see there's only one TV. When I'm in a suite, I really don't like that because you can never really aim the TV very well at either the bed or the sofa because it's just facing straight on into the room. Let's see how it... Yeah, it can turn pretty well. Pretty well. So I guess I shouldn't complain. This is a king bed, room 301. As you can see on either side, there's a nightstand permanently attached to the wall. On this side is a phone and the clock. And down below, we have two outlets and this looks to be a USB port. It's kind of dark, hard to tell. And it looks like a similar setup on the other side. Let's take a look. We have a nightstand, a lamp, and on the base of the lamp, we have an outlet and a USB port. And across from the TV, you see a large desk. Adjacent to that is the entryway to the bathroom. You can see there is a sink area, and that sink area has a very nice, well-lit mirror above it. It really is a nice, large desk. Only one chair, however. I suppose you could pull over a couple of those hassocks or footrests or whatever you want to call those. But if you have more than one person, it would be hard to sit around here and have a meal, for instance. Now we'll go in, we'll look at the sink area. Not a real large counter space, but there is some counter space here. There's a pull-out shelf. There's our hair dryer, the standard product line that you find at Hampton Inns. And three sets of bath towels, hand towels, and washcloths. Adjacent to that, you see the bathroom area with a large walk-in shower that has a sliding glass door. And the last thing is our closet. Closet has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hangers. Looks like, what is that, a pillow? Kind of tricky to get in this. This door is only about 18 inches wide. We have our iron, our ironing board, and no luggage stand. I suppose we could use these as our luggage stand. These things are going to have to pull a lot of extra duty. Oh, and by the way, kind of nice. Right above those are some wall hooks. Although I did just check in, she told me breakfast is going to be what she said was a grab and go. But then what she described is what I would call more of a continental breakfast. It sounded like they'd have bagels, 
maybe muffins, um, some beverages. We'll see in the morning. Well, good morning. I just had a night's sleep and we're going to head down to see what breakfast is like. I'm not taking my camera. We're going to film this with my phone just so I don't make people feel uncomfortable. Also, I'll probably be bringing the food up here and I don't want to have to juggle a phone along with food and a beverage. Let's take a look. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. Don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for joining me, everyone. From Nashville, Tennessee, I'm Mark, and this is The Average Me Channel.